Hello everybody and welcome to this video about how to set up play on Mac properly on your Mac for retro gaming or Windows games. So first of all we're going to load up play on Mac which we've already installed and we're going to proceed to create our first virtual drive and in doing so there'll be some dependencies that we need to install to make sure our games play properly. So in, in this case we're going to install Caesar 3 so we'll set up a virtual drive here for Caesar 3. If you're on a modern Mac, the first thing that we need to do is select that we want to install a 32-bit virtual drive. All Windows games won't run on 64 and select System and give the, the name a drive or the driver name, even. And then so the player on Mac will need to install some dependencies to make your games run properly, which I'll do at this point. The first one of which is Mono Wine, Wine Mono, which we just click install, it will download it. It's a, a rather big one, so this will take a, a wee while. So we'll just fast forward through the, the video at this point. So that's finished now, and it will just install that. And the next uh, dependency that we need to install is Wine Gecko. So again, we download that, we'll whiz through the, the video at this point and, and Wine's installing that for us and that's our virtual drive built so what we're going to do now is install the game so we click on configure select the drive that we want to configure and go over onto the miscellaneous tab where we'll run a Windows executable file within the drive and at this point we navigate to the game that we want to install. In this case I'm just going to navigate through to the the Caesar 3 executable which we're going to run and at this point it's going to try to uh, install the the game that you've selected in this case Caesar 3. So it's just thinking about that in the background. And again, we're just going to whiz through the install video here. For some reason, my buttons aren't showing, but a little tick in that box and a click of the enter key, and uh, away we go. So that's installing our game for us now. And that's Caesar 3 installed. When we come to run Caesar 3, which we'll come on to in a second, we need to install another dependency which becomes clear when we attempt to run it. So what we'll do first of all is navigate through to the folder on which we've installed Caesar 3. So open the virtual directory, head through to drive C to GOG games, we're playing the GOG install here and loading up Caesar 3 and clicking on the executable at which point it'll tell us that we need to install xquartz as uh, x11 program. So again, we're going to download that, and partway through the install, for whatever reason, the the game will uh, load up, and you'll be able to to actually play. So, so when the package downloads, you'll be able to open that up. And you'll see the folder open with the package now. So double click on the export package and uh, and open that up, and it will begin to actually install xquartz for you hit on continue a couple of times and follow the install process through at which point you will have to put your password in or use your fingertip and it will it will begin to install xquartz for you and midway through the install your your game will uh, will load up whilst that's still installing in the background. So as you can see, Caesar 3 will load up now and we, we find our way into the game. Central We're just Italy. making our way into Caesar 3 now and one the of the things Christ. The, well, the only thing that we're Starting going to do in Caesar 3 is to lead farther than they could change ever. the resolution so that we're using the um, 
we use on the widescreen patch. So I'll run another video on that and in due course. Um, so we're running in full widescreen now, or we will be once we click on OK, so we can obviously see the resolution difference there. So Caesar 3 is loaded up. As we close that down, we'll see that X Quartz is still installing in the background. Uh, we've only been in the game a minute or so. And eventually that will finish up and, um, and we'll be good to go. And you'll see a wee prompt that we need to restart our computer to make X Quartz our, our default X11 server. Back at the front page in Play on Mac, we have no way to get to our game at the moment, so we're just going to install a shortcut. So we click on Configure, we go back to the, the drive that we're working with, Caesar 3 in our case, and we click on this Make a New Shortcut from the Virtual Drive, and that will just scan through and look for all of the executables in the drive, which it will give us a list of in a, in a second. We're going to select C3.exe, ignore the one above it that looks very similar, that's to do with the uh, widescreen patch. and um, and we're just going to add that to our list now and we'll see it appear on our front page. So when you load Play on Mac in future, you'll be able to just uh, click on your icon and your game will load. We're not going to load any other shortcuts. So here we are back on the front page at Play on Mac and there's our icon to click on to load Caesar 3. If you've made it this far, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel or to visit our website to have a wee look around. Thank you for now and see you next time.